Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Barb with Halfway to Sane. And I just kind of wanted to go over with you a little bit of what the purpose of our channel is going to be. I mean, we posted a couple of stupid, goofy videos. Um, my daughter was just having a good time and, you know. But the reason for the name Halfway to Sane is um, we all deal with some kind of illness, illnesses, um, we all deal with chronic pain, and my sister is in a wheelchair, confined to a wheelchair, unable to walk or stand. So between my illnesses, her illnesses, my daughter's illnesses, we just kind of want to have this channel to go over a lot of those issues, um, but at the same time show you how you can still live a productive life when you're dealing with chronic pain. And I live with chronic pain. My sister lives with chronic pain on top of numerous other things. So it's just kind of something that I want to go over with you a little bit right now. Um, I myself, with my chronic pain, I have fibromyalgia, I have Crohn's disease, I have major depressive disorder, anxiety, social anxiety, osteoarthritis, headaches, migraines, and I deal with PTSD. Um, my sister was born with cerebral palsy and she also has rheumatoid arthritis. And she too deals with depression and anxiety. My daughter um, is on the autism spectrum, um, but she also deals with depression and anxiety and has really bad social anxiety and didn't even go. She went to public school up through middle school and then she switched to homeschooling because she can't even deal with the public with other people very well. So um, I just kind of want to go over some things with you, maybe some things you know or that you don't know. You might deal with some of the same issues that we deal with and, you know, maybe you're not getting information from us um, that is helpful. So maybe you can maybe ask some things about what we do or what we don't do or maybe you can give us some advice as well. So um, I just want to go over with you with the chronic pain. Do you know what chronic pain is? Well, chronic pain is pain that lasts for three months or longer. You know, fibromyalgia, I have been dealing with my issues. It goes back to when I was a child, but of course, we didn't know back then that I was dealing with that. It wasn't until I became an adult. I was in my early 20s when I went to my first doctor and that's kind of where my journey began. But again, chronic pain is pain you live with for three months or longer. And don't know if you know that when you deal with chronic pain for that period of time, pain actually becomes its own disease. So you have a disease of pain. It is its own disease. And more often than not, when you're dealing with pain for this long period of time, you start to become depressed. Um, you know, it becomes tough to go through your normal everyday activities. And maybe you start to self-isolate a little bit. You don't want to deal with people. Um, people aren't understanding what you're going through. They can't if it's not something people can see, they tend to not always believe what you're going through or they think you're exaggerating what you're going through. Um, but pain becomes your life. It absolutely rules you. You're no longer that healthy, vibrant person that you once were. You can't just drag, you can't just drag yourself out of bed and get up and go do something on a whim because you don't know how you're going to feel from day to day. And for that matter, a lot of times you don't know how you're going to feel from hour to hour or even minute to minute. I can wake up 
feeling really great and start doing some things and within a couple hours I feel like I was hit by a bus it's not fun so that too might be something that you're dealing with um, taking a shower becomes a chore um, you know especially if you have to if you hold a job you get up in the normal time every day you drag yourself out of bed you hurt it cringes to move and you have to drag yourself in that shower and after that shower you feel like you need a freaking nap you know it's it's that shower has become a job and now you still need to go to your freaking job that you probably don't even like that you're just there to pay your bills um, that you have to go there and put your eight plus hours of work in for the day and by the time you get home you're dragging your ass and you just want to go to bed and a lot of you might be able to do that just come home from work and go to bed till the next day do the crap all over again um, but if you have a family especially if you have children you know you cannot do that you come home from work more often than not you have to be the one that makes dinner you have to help your kids with homework get them baths and get them ready for bed and for crying out loud let's not even think about if they are in sports you need to rush home from work to get your kids drive them to their sports activity come home now you're rushing to make dinner and do everything and by now you feel like you've worked two full-time freaking jobs and been hit by a freaking tractor trailer truck and you get to go to bed to wake up feeling like crap to do it all over again and you can't wait until your weekends till you feel like you can just sleep 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 but if your kids are in sports you got to get up and take them to their games so you're still dragging your rear end and at what point do you get to come home and just relax at what point do you get to clean your house pain starts to destroy you it's an enemy to you um, a lot of you if you're dealing with depression chances are you're probably dealing with anxiety on top of it because you don't know how you're gonna feel from you know minute to minute maybe you know it's a weekend and you're waking up and you have to take your kids to a game and you're feeling great and let's go do this and you go and you sit there you're watching your kids do whatever sport that they're playing and for no good reason that you go to stand up and you just feel like a building fell on you and it takes every ounce of energy for you to get up out of your chair or off the bleacher wherever you are and drag you and your kid back to the car to come home and do whatever you need to do there so when you're living with chronic pain you tend to complain a lot maybe to the people around you um, they start to get aggravated with you maybe a little bit you start to cancel plans because number one you don't feel like going you're in pain you're suffering you want to rest number two maybe you don't want to go because you know they're getting sick and tired of hearing you complain so you just cancel and they start to get aggravated with you they start to get upset with you they start to get mad at you um and they might even say ridiculous things to you like well you're too young to have this many problems or well you don't look sick or maybe you need more exercise this is a great one I think it's all in your head Wow, you just have a bad attitude or I wish I can get the illness that you have so I can lose weight too I've actually heard that one I used to be stick thin and I literally had a manager at my job tell me that she wished she could catch what I had so she could lose some weight ridiculous freaking answer or well at least you don't have insert illness here you should be thankful you don't have that 
as if my illness or your illness isn't worth a lick of mud. You know, we don't matter. At least we don't have that. Partly it's true. There's always somebody out there worse than you are. Um, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't get validation for what you're going through as well. And I don't know how familiar you are with the thing that, that I struggle with the most um, is my fibromyalgia. My fibromyalgia absolutely does rule my life. And I'm doing this video today because this is my good day after being on a major flare-up for five days. It was actually yesterday I was pretty good too, but for five days straight, I could hardly move. My feet hurt so bad. I couldn't stand on them. Every nerve ending in my body just felt like it was on fire. I had a migraine for four of those days that just would not stop. I was sick to my stomach and the medication I was taking just adds to being sick on sick to my stomach. So, you know, it was five days of not being able to accomplish anything that I wanted to accomplish. Um, now I am my sister's caregiver. So no matter how I feel, does not matter how much pain I'm in, I still have to get up to take care of her. And that's okay because it forces me to get up. Otherwise I lay in bed like a blob all day. But I still have to get up and take care of her because she can't get up by herself. She has one working limb and that's an arm and that only works at 75%. So, you know, she relies on me and my daughter to do everything for her. Um, but I'm just trying to explain that. The pain that I deal with you don't get a break from it. I don't care who you are, whatever you're dealing with, there is something you still need to get up and do, whether you feel like it or not, you know, and maybe it's that shower. Maybe you've gone two or three days or more without a shower um, because it's painful, because you just can't, you know, it, it's physical activity. People don't realize when you have certain illnesses, how hard it is to do something. So, you know, I just wanted to maybe just give you a little bit of head ground as to what, you know, what types of videos that we're going to be doing. But maybe you want to know if you have one of these, um, illnesses that you don't know what to do, I would say the first thing is, you know, if you haven't already seen your doctor, please go to a doctor. Get all the testing that you can get because it might not be something that I'm dealing with. Um, could be something totally different. But the way that I manage everything is like I said earlier, I have to get up every day, whether I feel like it or not. And that motivates me. It's a good motivation. I know somebody is relying on me to have to do something. It gets me moving on the days that I might not want to. Um, it gives me some kind of activity. So my body has some kind of activity. But on the days that I feel good, I like to go for walks. We all go for walks together. Um, we live in Texas and the weather is beautiful. It's hot. Most people don't like the heat. I love the heat. My sister loves the heat. So, you know, anytime we can get outside, we do. Um, so we'll go on a lot of walks. And one thing you want to do is to reduce your emotional and mental stress. Now, how do you do that? Um, for some, it might be medication. Um, could be meditation. 
um, you know, go see a, a counselor if you need somebody to talk to to help reduce that mental stress. See a psychiatrist. Talk to a friend. Go do something for yourself. Um, maybe that is taking a shower. Maybe that's something you enjoy. And go soak in the tub. Take a nice, long, hot bubble bath and enjoy it. Eat a healthy diet. You know that saying, you are what you eat. Well, it's kind of true. If you eat shitty, you feel shitty. And who the hell wants to feel shitty? So try and eat better. Maybe that's not something that you do. And, you know, if you, not, if you don't have a good diet and, you know, you don't want to change to a healthy diet right all at once. Just change one little thing at a time. Um, it could be something as simple as maybe you need to eat some cookies after dinner every day. Cut the cookies out or cut down the number of cookies. Start slow. Every little change helps. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. My sister will get on at one point and go over some of the issues that she deals with. I'm not sure how much Lexi's going to get on. Um, like I had said, she has that social anxiety. And it's really hard for her to talk. Um, but, you know, eventually you're all going to get to know us. And hopefully, you know, we're going to have a really good time together here. So um, thank you for watching. If you have not already, please subscribe. Please hit that like button. And the more subscribers we get, the more fun content we can put out. Um, fun videos, informational videos. Tell us what you want to see and hear. Um, we want to be something joyful for you to watch that day or something, you know, informational for you to watch that day. So hit that thumbs up and we'll talk to you soon.